We went ahead and took a look at a handful of other school districts in our viewing area to see how many of their buses have seat belts. We ran uh, to see the, the kids and started to take them out from, from out of the the bus. Dash cam video captures the moment a concrete truck crashes into a Hayes CISD school bus. Lots and lots of blood. There's a lot of crying and screaming. One student died along with the driver of another car. The bus involved did not have seat belts. We spoke to the superintendent right after the crash. We haven't gotten the uh, investigation report yet from DPS, and so we'll wait on that to see if seat belts would have made a difference. But um, we are planning on accelerating our timeline to make sure that all of our buses uh, in the future will have seat belts. In 2017, state lawmakers passed a bill requiring all school buses to have three point seat belts. However, this did not apply to models pre 2017. And another exception, the school board of trustees can determine it's not in their budget to purchase a bus with seatbelts and hold a public vote. That's why districts throughout central Texas vary. Here's a look at the numbers. AISD has 551 buses, 100% equipped with seatbelts. Round Rock has 251 buses, 75% of them and all that are used on daily routes have seatbelts. Eanes ISD has 57 buses, 100% with seatbelts. Hutto ISD has 90 total buses with 50% outfitted, though buses without seatbelts will be phased out by 2027. Manor ISD has 55 total and 55% are fully outfitted with seatbelts. The rest have, quote, designated seatbelts. Lake Travis ISD with 110 total buses, 100% of which have seat belts. And finally, Hayes CISD, 109 total buses for daily routes, 90% of those do have seat belts. But a new plan was approved Monday night. At completion, Hayes will have 115 route buses and 80 support buses, all with seat belts. Any buses without will be decommissioned. Currently, they are in the process of putting finishing touches on 21 new buses with seat belts as the new continues to come in and the old goes out. We have some more buses that we've ordered uh, in August. They'll be coming in hopefully this summer. It takes about, believe it or not, a, a year to get a school bus. And Hayes is also considering leasing buses with seatbelts until all the new buses are delivered.